This is going to be dating advice from the Lord and Master. Yeah. Tony. All right, you women out there, <laughs> listen closely. These guys, you should look out for. The type of guys that drive around listening to fucking dance music, like Zombie Nation, and stupid dumbass songs like that from like the mid-90s that nobody gives a shit about. You know how to play it real loud to get your attention while driving by? As if you're gonna throw yourself on top of the hood of the car, and then just start pounding at the windshield? Oh, I love you because you're playing Zombie Nation! Yeah, okay, what the fuck ever. You know what you do? I say you aim for the tires and fucking blow those shits out so you crash into a fucking telephone pole. Fuck that shit. And watch out for those guys that come over on the weekends and just sit on a fat ass and watch football. And then every five minutes they say, Hey, babe, can you get me a bear from the fridge? Fuck that shit. Tell that fat bastard to get up and get it himself. And if he gives you the response, well, I work all week. Oh, you know what? I'm sure most of you women out there work all week too and have to take care of a fucking child. Tell this fat bastard to get up and get his own fucking beard. It's the least he can do after you've been carrying around a fucking child in your stomach for nine months. These lazy fucking bastards just piss me off. And watch out for guys that call you by pet names more than they do your own name. And if they ever refer to you as, quote unquote, my girl, you drop that fucker like a rock. And not to get down on all you guys. Don't worry. There are women that you should be looking out for too, alright? Like any woman that dresses like a damn slut, you don't want to be affiliated with. If you can see more cleavage than a plumber's ass, don't get involved. It's just going to cause problems when you decide to be possessive and domineering over their life. Watch out for women who wear excessive jewelry. You know, the fucking type of bitch who's got about like 15 rings on each finger. Oh, and people with nameplates. You know, oh, these fucking women who have their own names on a little chain. As if they fucking forget. And women who have tattoos of their own name on their own body. It's just fucking stupid. Like, are, are they really this stupid that they wake up in the morning? Oh my god, what's my name? And they have to look at their ass in the mirror to figure out who they are? Oh, that's right, I'm Amy. Give me a fucking break. You don't want to deal with women who don't know who they are. Oh, and here's a good test. When you're window shopping, if they pull you by your arm over to a jewelry window, smash their head in the window and run. Because you don't want to deal with some fucking money-hungry bitch. My only piece of advice to have a sound relationship is leave each other alone. Don't be overly concerned. Don't try to domineer them. Don't try to control them. Let them be independent. Let them do what they want. You think you people can understand that? Yeah, I know there are some reasons to be suspicious. Like, you know, if your girlfriend walks in with a condom on her head, then, you know, you may want to ask a few questions. But other than that, you know what? Try to trust the other individual. And if it doesn't work out, fuck them. Let them drop dead of some weird disease. And bye. You're better than that. And you don't have to validate yourself through another person's life. Every individual is an island and can be an island. You do not need a significant other to live life. Stop seeking something that isn't there and move on. Suckers. <laughs>